Welcome back to another watercolor lesson. Today I'm going to do another watercolor portrait. I'm going to show you the full step how to do the composition and the rough drawing with just watercolor. Let's take a look. Let's see. I'm going to use landscape orientations and I'm going to see where I'm going to put this whole face. So I'm going to have plenty of space on the right side. And the chin, I want to have it come down over here only, like this. And the back coming over here. So first I want to think about if this is what you want, if it's not, you may want to change it as soon as you can. Okay, now I'm going to move things, everything a little bit higher. The first thing I want to change, like that. Okay, so the chin's still going to be here, or maybe a little bit higher, the chin, coming over here. Okay, now I'm going to see if I'm happy with this. Now I can think about that, where's the middle? I think from here to here, the eye is the middle. So I'm going to put a point over here, that's the middle. That's where the eye is going to be. Now the eyebrows is will be here. And then from there, I can see that from the eyebrows to the chin. And it's supposed to be the nose. The bottom of the nose is the middle. But staring at your reference, actually the nose is a little bit higher than the middle point. So the nose is right here. So when you're doing drawing or paintings, you make sure that you are doing one thing at a time. That's the nose. And then looking at the space between the nose and the uh, chin, we have the portrait basics that you can learn how to identify the, the mouth space. So you can see that you can divide into five. So this actually would be the mouth. One, two, three, four, five. At the chin, there is just two spaces. So here you go. And then the chin coming down like this. And then you want to double check that have a vertical line coming up here to see where's the chin. The chin looks like it should go out a little more. So I'm gonna get a little bit darker colors so we can overwrite. So let's take a look. And this, the mouth over here looks like the same uh, level as the nose or even a little bit more out. So give a little bit more. And the lower lip is right here. And the chin now come out a little bit, like this, and come in. Now this is good. Now we already got the rough proportion. And then, now looking, adding some other shapes. The eyes, it will be here. The corner of the eye is a little bit darker. Still in the drawing step. Now I'm going to mix a little bit darker color. Now I have the blue over here and the red and add some yellow. You know, that will be the brown colors. So this is good. Now I'm going to come to the, the cheek. Now come lay out this shape. This is only the first primary shape. And the corner of the nose is right here. And 
and the forehead have a little bit colder so I'm gonna get a little bit blue color come up over here like that the, take a look at the ear we don't really see much of the ear but we can see there is an the earring it's about in this location and the earring in the reference is very very bright but we don't need to make it so bright because we don't want the earring to become the dominant objects. So some kind of earring over here. I'm already tone it down, but I'm going to have it there. But it's not going to be that bright. So now I keep going to find other locations. And this is the neck. Uh, by doing the neck, it's just going to do the color outside the neck. Like this. Like that. And on this side of the color, but let me mix a little bit brown color just to for the uh, for the spaces for the drawing. Good. Now I'm gonna put it right here. That's for the neck. And also on the hair web. Now I'm gradually getting there. Now at this point I also want to soften the edge a little bit. Now I'm going to continue my drawing. So on this side of the clothes and I just identify what's the edge. Let's take a look at the back. The back almost the line start from the eye. If you come the line going down like this way, you actually you smoothly coming this angle like this. So you're coming down almost like a a smooth curved line but you don't have to make it that smooth you can make some changes to it if you want make a little curve like that so it's not going that fast so again this is only the drawing step okay looking at the hair web and I'm gonna just going to put some first layer of colors yellow and red if you think the orange color too bright so add a little blue color to it and they'll be fine just take a look in the top it's stopped here like this a little bit good mm, let me see I think at the bottom over here, it comes to a little bit more to the back, like that. And here a little bit higher. Okay, so this is the first step, it's the drawing step. Continue to define a little bit more. Let's see. And the eyebrows here come in. and the and the edge of the eyes, the eyelid turning right here. So I'm gonna actually draw a little bit more details. This is the iris. And the corner of the eyes, a little bit darker. The other eye right here. Now come down to the nose and the corner of the nose. Here you go. The nostril right under here. And then take a look at the mouth. On this side, actually a little bit darker. Because in the shadow side. And the lower lip 
of the mount. Here's a little bit darker and then a little tone underneath. Have some touch the shadow. Okay, and the lower eyelid, like this. Now I'm gonna soften the edge a little bit. And on the upper eyelid, the double eye line, I'm gonna soften a little bit because it's gonna be lighter. So I'm going to, that's good. Now I'm going to put a little bit darker reminder at the bottom of the chin. Get a little blue colors that will become the brown color. That's just good. Now I'm going to look at it right here. Right there. And on the cheek. So one color, have a little bit warmer, right in here, and also on this side the shadow. Come down here, connect to this shadow side. Get a little warmer color on the top over here. And that's the foundations of the, I'm going to light up a little bit over here using lifting off. And that's good. Now add a little bit darker blue colors and maybe even have a little purplish feel make it darker so right here and on this side And I can put a little bit darker color at the bottom of the uh, the hair wrapper. A little bit more red. Okay. This is the end of the first step. Use watercolor to do the drawing and planning. I'm going to continue with this painting later on. If you're interested, join us as an artist member in our learning community. Please use the support link to join us. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If this is the first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in my next lesson.